Hi everyone, it's Denise with One of Our Crafts. I uh, got the signatures finished, sewing anyway. Um, so kind of what I want to do today is maybe do some reinforcing on some of the older book page. Make sure everything's hunky-dory on it. And if we have time, um, I want to try and do like a flip-out page. Um, I thought I'd go ahead and just kind of do my whole process on this journal. Sometimes, Most of the time I'll do a little bit and I'll film a little bit, but I'm feeling so much better. I thought I'd come on and say hey and how you doing and hang out with you guys. <laughs> so hi and hello to any new subscribers. Welcome back to everyone who graciously supports and follows me. I love you guys. I love you, love you. I really do. <laughs> Anyway, enough of the mushy mushy, right? Um, so we'll go through all the signatures. I got some washi out. Um, I thought would hopefully could find something in here that matches. If not, I've got tons more. Uh, I'm a washi hoarder. <laughs> so these pages are fine. So and this one too. Um, let's see. I think I want to put some, even though this one came out really clean, it's got some holes in it. So I do want a washi on it just for the stability, you know, not to say that you have to do that. This would be actually a pretty good page. You could probably leave it on its own, but um, I don't want to chance it. So uh, let's see what, what color, what color, what color. I am thinking, I think I have one in here that's music. There's one in here that's got some music in it or something. Or maybe not. <laughs> I like these um, multi-different kinds of, oh, there we go. This one's nice. It's got some, it's got different stuff on it. Um, <clears throat> washies. Even though this type isn't exactly the best or my ultimate favorite is still a good washi so um and I'll, like i said most washies you can make fairly good just you know gluing it and doing whatever so um, i like that it's got some text on there and so i'm gonna just do some reinforcement so how is everyone good i hope some glue on it and I don't set it down when I when I measure it out I don't set it all the way down and tack it because sometimes when you do you can tear the page trying to get it off so and then we got curly cue going on here yeah. oh, I just want to make sure that it's going to be okay in the journal And you can reinforce both sides if you want. I think I will. Just for the extra added uh, decoration on it. So I got, I had um, gotten all my stuff together for my taxes. and got all that calculated in together. And then I got my taxes filed. Yay! That is a huge relief, let me tell you getting all those wonderful business taxes done and so much has changed every year you know every year something changes tax wise we know that but this year where'd that little piece go okay um wow a lot of stuff changed so but got them all done Got my son's done too. He's his first year ever filing his taxes. So he's all happy because he's getting a refund. I said, must be nice. 
Okay, let's see. Let's find another pretty one. Um, it doesn't really matter, I guess, color-wise. Because we've got all kinds of spring colors in here. Let's use a little purple. Put some purple flowers on here. Oh, I'm not going to have enough on that one. Guess I used that one. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's use a little blue then. Or actually, let's use this blue. I like this blue. It's got like blue um, roses on it. Is it roses? Can't tell which side is up. Oh, I think this side is up. On it. I like this because I when I got it, I got it off of Amazon. Um, if you guys are, if you guys want to know, I, I can uh, go back and link it in the description if you guys are interested in it. But I think it has like, um, gosh, I can't even remember how many rolls. I think it was like a hundred rolls or something close to it. But there's a lot of different colors and. You know, some of the stuff I probably won't ever use, like some of it's got cutesy emojis and stuff, and I'm just not kind of, I like emojis, but I don't know if I would do a journal with emojis <laughs> in it. Uh, who knows? You never know. Right? You never know. So, I got yesterday, I got, um, well, when this airs, this will be, it'll be Monday. So, Saturday, I got some more lace, um, placemats that came in. So, I'm hoping... When I get together all my envelopes and stuff and get all that ready and prepped to die. Because that will be my next pack. I think I'm going to do um, two different kinds of the 6 by 9s so I've got, you know, I normally have the booklet. I got some catalog style that are longer, you know, that are instead of opening, flapping uh, out the side or, you know, the, the this way and opening up. They're taller and open up. But they're the same size or 6 by 9 I coin envelopes and invitation envelopes and um, like the normal ones too. And then I have uh, the long envelopes with the windows in them. So those will be like the CD cases. They'll have to hang to dry because I can't put them in the oven because of the plastic on the cover. And then I'm going to do some cheesecloth along with it. And I don't know. We'll see what else. Maybe some, maybe some um, lace or some ribbon or something like that. I don't know. We'll make it a good, a good bundle pack. You know me. <laughs> I like to make my packs nice and good. So, all right. So, let's back in there. And let's see. I went ahead and some of it I moved around because I think this piece I had somewhere else, but I went ahead and changed it because I liked it there instead. This one I think is good on there. It only had the two staple holes on it and they're not very big, so we're good there. This one I do definitely want to because it is an older, this is a book from I think 19... I think the last copyright on it was 1940-something, but it originally copyrighted in, like, 1900-something. So, I definitely, because, like you said, you can see where it's 
has been in there in the signature and it's kind of bent a little bit so i just want to reinforce that one too so let's see hmm. can use a little pink maybe it's all springy right And yeah, I mean, you can cut it more toward, you know, towards what you need closer to. I just, for me, sometimes when I try to cut it close, I always end up screwing it up. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe it's because I get to a rush or something. I'm not sure. Or at the angle I might be at. Because I do sit when I craft. I can't stand for long periods. The nerve in my back will start shooting pain down my leg. So I sit. It's kind of nice. <laughs> I mean, kudos to Amy. Girl, I can't, I, I don't know. I don't know how you can stand like that to craft like that. But she does, and she does an amazing job. So I cannot. But don't let it stop me from crafting because I'm still going to go crazy and all <laughs> all my crazy okay and let's see maybe uh, I've got a thicker piece we could put on here it's got some words I think, like I said, I've got tons of washi. I've got like a whole, well, this, and then I've got like other little boxes, and then I have, you know, those little square cubby things full of washi and washi dispensers. <laughs> Because, you know, originally I was going to be all organized and buy all dispensers for all my washi until I realized how many dispensers I was going to have to buy. And then I said, you know, uh, no. <laughs> I mean, they're not that expensive, you know, when you consider they're like, they're like four or five dollars for the dispenser. So it's not, it's not too, they're not too terribly expensive. But when you got hundreds of rolls and each one will only hold anywhere between depending on the thickness of um, the uh, the washi. So like the thicker one will only hold like three or four or like three with a smaller roll in there. You, um, yeah. You don't get, uh, you, you, you know, you're looking at if, if, <laughs> if you have a hundred rolls of washi <laughs> and each, dispenser holds five that's what 20 roll 20 of them that you have to buy at five bucks a piece yeah you know you're talking what 100 bucks 20 100 bucks is that right just for just to house like that i'm like no i'll keep it in the box for now until i figure something else out something i'll I'll figure something out or just keep it the way it is for now. All right. Let's see. Which way do I get? Go this way. 30. 29. Okay. So it must go. Okay, let's 
put the clippies back on it, keep everything in place, and move on to the second one. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I didn't do a video, though, on sewing these in because I had a little issue with my couple pieces of my paper didn't want to go through, and I didn't realize I was very close to the end of my bobbin. And apparently when I wound my bobbin, it, uh, I don't know if I need to do that one because that one's a pretty heavy cardstock and it's held up pretty good. So I think I'm good there. Um, yeah, this one I didn't do. So yeah, and I kind of, I had to replace two, two of my signature pages in here, had to reprint them refold them and all that wonderful stuff because of that. So let's see. Uh, what's this one got? Lemons and lemonade, I think. Is that what's on this one? It's kind of summery though, yeah. Yeah, we'll keep that one over here. Um this one's got butterflies. It's got a couple over here with butterflies, so let's let's use a butterfly. <laughs> Amy was saying that she she liked that little green butterfly I have in there. I said, yeah, I like it because it's different. I mean, you know, if you've ever been to like one of those botanical butterfly gardens, you'll see like different different colored ones. And it's, you know, when you actually go online and look up, you know, pink butterflies or whatever, there's very few. Like, they're they're pink, but they're not like what we consider pink. <laughs> and they're very rare butterflies, so you're not going to find very many photographs of them. So you kind of got to uh, makeshift what you got and kind of manipulate colors and all that good stuff, so... All right, Mr. Washi, don't be a stinkabut. There we go. I don't know, I, I think it's just the way I was holding the glue. <laughs> uh, I laugh at myself sometimes. I know you guys do. I know you guys get a kick out of that, but that's good. <laughs> At least I can laugh at myself, you know. I mean, I've done some crazy stuff I think back on, you know, like, you know, just make it, at the time you were so humiliated, but then you think back now and all you can do is laugh at yourself. Like, I remember this one time um, when I lived in Nebraska, I lived in Omaha, we lived in uh, uh, Bellevue by um, off at Air Force Base, and we used to go into, uh, they had a, a newer mall built at the time, of course. This was way back in the 80s, okay? Big hair, you know, feathered bangs, all that stuff, you know? <laughs> and um, we uh, went to this new, newer mall, and... Um, that way or that way oh that's a fan okay it goes this way I don't know if I like the fan I'll put it on there anyway uh, we went to the small and you know back in the 80s you know boys and all that stuff and there were some really good looking guys there we were kind of watching them walk through the mall and one of the guys he um i'm not kidding if if you guys uh know the band journey and you know um the lead singer um what's his name stephen uh or um something perry is it stephen perry i think it was anyways he looked just like him and i was just like oh oh he's so good looking <laughs> yeah back then that was kind of when you know uh the high top thing kind of 
um, well, not so much the high top, but you used to take your shoestrings and you'd knot the ends and you'd leave them hanging out, you know? So, you know, they're way up at the top of the escalator at the mall and um, we thought they were getting off and walking away and me and my, my girlfriend, we kind of get on the escalator, go see where they're going, you know, checking them out, I think. <laughs> I know, a little creepy, right? But anyway, so, uh, I'm going to cricket. Um, I get on the escalator and unbeknownst to me, I, uh, go to take a step off and they're like right at the top of the escalator, like right around the bend, there was like a little, like a little open area. And I guess they were all kind of just standing there talking. <sighs> my girlfriend go, she steps off and then I step off right behind her. My shoestring got caught in the escalator. <laughs> so when I go to take a step forward, I went, boom, flat on my face. My friend turned and she goes, oh my God, really? Oh my God, get up. You're embarrassing me in front of these guys. Oh my God. She was, I was humiliated. She was humiliated. The guys were all laughing and I was just like, oh man. And then, lo and behold, he comes over and he's like, are you okay? Do you need some help getting up? I was like, duh, 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 duh. you know, I, you know, can't talk, do whatever. <laughs> my friend was just like, oh my gosh, Denise. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, it may not sound that funny, but I guess you just kind of had to be there, you know? Okay. This one, I'm still trying to determine if I'm going to close them off and then have little tucks back here, or if I'm going to, I think with this one, I might do like a little fold out and fold in with something on here. So I haven't done anything as far as gluing it down yet because I'm still undecided on where I'm going to go with that. So, but yeah, you know, it was one of those moments that... At the time, I couldn't laugh at myself, but now, <laughs> it's just like, yep, that's so me. <laughs> uh, the crazy thing to do when you're kids, you know? All right, let's see. I think all of these are just about good, too. Oh, here's another one of those music papers. I want to make sure I do that one. Okay, I love this cradle, Amy. I swear it's so good for just not just that. It's just to even set my stuff over here. So I'm liking that. I like it a lot. All right, let's maybe put a thicker piece in here. Um, what's this one say? Oh, it's got castles on it and stuff. Kitty castles. I don't want that. <laughs> um, I don't think that uh, Lori wants that either. <laughs> Hopefully there's enough on here. Oh, this one's got little girls on it, too. I don't know if I want that one on there either. Okay. Let's see. Um, simply on it. Hopefully there's enough on here. Yep, there it is. But yeah, I think, you know, I mean, even my kids have done some crazy things. And of course, when I bring it up to them now, they're like, ah, really? Do you have to, do you have to remind us of that? Do you have to, you know, it's like, yeah, they're funny. When you get to be my age, you'll laugh your butt off over them. You'll be telling your grandkids about them and, you know, your kids about it. And, you know, especially when they get embarrassed and, 
and, you know, not sure what to do or say or how to act, you know, let them know it's okay. It's happened to me. <laughs> oh. But I've got to say, my daughter has pro was probably uh, worse. <laughs> I remember, okay, so I guess it's story time, and she's probably going to get mad because I, I, I told this story on video, but that's all right. <laughs> I love you, Colette, if you're watching. <laughs> it's okay, sweetheart. <laughs> um, so when she was very, very young, I would say she was probably about uh, four. She was about three or four, you know, um, starting to talk a lot better. Um, uh, you know what I mean? So more boisterous. We were at, ooh, I think it was Red Lobster eating. We sat down and we were in Oklahoma and, uh, we had to drive from Altus up to Lawton, which back then was almost an hour drive because the speed limit was so slow. Um, oh, I like that one. Uh, and um, so we went up there for dinner. And we're sitting down. And uh, all of a sudden, my daughter, out of nowhere says, um, Daddy, <laughs> that lady has a beard and a mustache like, she, or she has a mustache like you, but you don't have a beard like her. <laughs> so I kind of, and she said it loud, like loud, loud. And there was some uh, army guys uh, sitting there. And they just busted up laughing, which, of course, made everybody turn around and look. And my, there's my daughter pointing. She's standing next to her, or she's sitting next to her dad, and she's pointing at this lady. And I'm over here going, Clint, stop. Like, oh, my God. You know, because I turned around and looked, and the lady did. She was, you know, um, it, it was bad. <laughs> um. And for whatever reason, I mean, she could have had some, uh, a medical condition or whatever that, that causes it. And, you know, it's not right to, to make fun of people like that. And, you know, you're, you're like, oh my God, you know, and she wasn't trying to make fun of it, anybody. She just didn't understand why a lady had a mustache and a beard like her dad, you know, and obviously it was a lady. Um, it, and it was, it was a lady, um. And, of course, these GIs, they turn around, and the Army guys, they're turning around, and they're laughing. And I'm thinking, oh, my God, you're encouraging her, you know. Ugh, don't do that. And then, so, of course, she sees these guys laughing. She's like, look, Dad, look, you're not looking. And she's trying to grab his face, and, and, and of course, he's like, oh, look, stop. And he's trying everything he could just to keep from laughing because... The situation, it was the, what she was doing because of what these guys were doing that made it funny. It wasn't funny about the lady. It was just her reaction to it was comical. Oh, I was so embarrassed. And this lady is just standing there looking at us. And I'm just like, oh, my God. I was humiliated. <laughs> you know, um, what do you do, you know? So, we, uh, yeah, and then we had another incident with my daughter at Subway, which, uh, I keep telling, oh, geez, she's so nice. <laughs> um, so, we went to Subway, and, um, is this the one I just used? I think this is the one I just used, isn't it? Is it? Uh, yeah, this is the one I just used, I think. Um, anyway, um, so we're at Subway, and 
was standing in line and I'm like, okay, Claire, what do you want? Figure out what you want, you know, because they have like the little kitty peanut butter and jelly and whatever, you know, and, and, uh, I said, figure out what you want. She's like, mom. And I'm like, what? And I'm standing there looking at the menu and I'm trying to figure out, you know, what I want. And she says, mom, and she's tugging on my, tugging on me, you know, and I'm like, what, Clint? What is it? What do you want? What do you want? She, that man in front of us isn't wearing any underwear. And I'm like, what? Colette, what are you talking about? She goes, he's not wearing any underwear. Look. And I said, no, I'm not looking. I said, that's rude. Don't, don't, you shouldn't be looking, you know? I mean, of course the guy's like, you know, you're standing in line in, in subways, like, you know, what, two feet in front of you? I'm like, Colette, don't worry about somebody else. Worry about, mind your own business and figure out what you want off the menu, please. <clears throat> so I'm standing there a couple seconds later. She tugs on me again. She goes, Mom. And I'm like, Colette, do you know what you want? If you don't, you better be looking at the menu because we're next. And you're going to need to figure out what you want. And if you don't know what you want, you're not getting anything. She said, so I guess she was going to point out and prove to me that I should have been paying attention to her. She walks right up to this guy in line and whoop, pulls his sweatpants down and says, see, I told you he wasn't wearing any underwear. <gasps> oh my gosh. I grabbed her, boom, grabbed her by the hand. We just, I, I said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. And we left. I was so humiliated. I and was in shock because it's like, <laughs> what do you do? What do you say? You know. <laughs> so we get home, and her dad is like, "Where's Subway?" I said, "You're. We're gonna have to figure something else out to eat. I'm not going back to Subway for a while." And he's like, "Why? What happened? Did something happened? Something?" I said, "Uh, oh my god!" And so I told him, and of course, all he could do is laugh. And I'm just like. And I'm laughing, too, saying, it's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> it was quite funny. It was it was a shock, though. Can you imagine? I mean, your kid's standing there, and he's they're trying to prove a point to you that, hey, look, I'm not lying to you. You need to be paying attention to what I'm saying to you, because this man ain't wearing no underwear. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, I love my kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I better stop saying, telling stories about my daughter. She'll get, she'll be all like, Mom. <laughs> she was a kid. She was very young, very little, you know. Kids are kids. It is what it is, right? We got enough on this one. Yeah, so <laughs> I remember calling home to my mom and telling my mom that story, and she was just like <gasps> she didn't. I said, oh my God, she did, Mom. She goes, what did you do? I said, I apologized as quickly as I could, grabbed my daughter, and left. We didn't even order. Thank goodness we weren't even in the line to order, because otherwise, how embarrassing that would be to have to stand in line to have to pay for your food while this other person is, like, standing there. Because, you know, the guy, he's like, woo, 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 you know, because here's somebody's, you know, jerking down his pants, his sweatpants. I was like, I don't even know how she knew other than maybe his sweatpants might have been too big and baggy or something and they were showing off his his moon. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's, ugh. And like, and she was, she was very young then too. I think that that incident happened maybe, I don't know, a year after the first incident. And then 
it's always something. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I have to save my son ones for another time. He's done. He's done some doozy stuff too. <laughs> but I can't blame him. I mean, I'm a little crazy too. I mean, I've never done that kind of stuff, but. <laughs> That was crazy. Oh, and, and I did put those in as little pockets, so on the center for that. If you watched the last video, I uh, cut it and then sewed them on separately. So, okay, so we've got those reinforced. Where are we at for time? Oh, 35 minutes already. Okay, that's okay. We can get something started, and then if we don't get it finished, I'll finish it in the next video. So what I was thinking is these two have center because the center one has this, um, you know, this flap out. And then this one has pockets. I want to do something in the center signature of this one. So um, I pulled out, remember those Edith Holden pages that I had pulled out and wanted originally to put in here. So I ended up pulling them out to do said so, you know we'll make tags or something with them so i'm thinking i'll do something with that i did cut it down just a little bit to fit the book page and i'm hoping this will work out i don't know so i've never done one of these like this before i mean i've done flip out pages with like envelopes and stuff like that but not with another book page so i want to take my center signature out here put it over here and what I was thinking is, <clears throat> this this page is quite quite large, obviously, and I like the roses on here, but I don't want to cover them up. So what I was thinking is, if I could, um, sew this on here and put a pocket like he that here then score it to kind of fold in even though this has a fold here fold it up like that and then over but let's see i don't know if that's gonna work but i do like having that pocket there Give me a second here to think. If I fold that up and over, and then I've got another fold inward, I wonder if I could fold it back. I, I have to reinforce this if I do that. So this page, I think I cut it down to 13 and a half, right? which ta divided by three is ooh, four and a half. So let's see where it sits with four and a half and four and a half, because I might, uh, oh, that's a pen. I want a pencil. All right, so. One thing I do miss about having my big grid here. All right, four and a half, and a nine at nine. Okay, so that's gonna put that. Let's see. So you guys get to see me fiddle and, and, and mess around with this, trying to figure out. If that's at four and a half. That takes up quite a bit of that page. I want that. I want it probably right about there. Which is inches. three. 
So if I go three, hmm, that's going to leave a bigger gap here, right? Sorry, I know, I'm just trying to show the process of how I'm trying to figure things out here. Okay, so if I go there, I could fold it, how many, how many inches is that from there to there? One and a half. And this is three, one and a half. I could go, all right, let's try this. <laughs> Worst comes to worst, I'll cut them into tags. <laughs> <laughs> right? Okay. There's my scoreboard. Oh, I lost one. Oh, goodness. Sorry, guys. I did it again. Okay, so I want this page... I want it to come out from this side, uh, right? No, actually, I want it to come from this side. So, right, we can still see the butterfly. All right. And then I need it to fold over. So... This side. Do it on this side. This side. This side. Okay. So at the three. And then I think what I'm going to have to do is definitely washi tape down that center to stabilize it. Let's see. So, I have it like that. I don't want to constantine it, but I could. Where is that other mark for my four? I could come in and make it another page like that is what I'm thinking. We're just going to take it right about there. Hope you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here, hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. So if I put this on this side, this is going to be a tuck here, and then put it inside here like that. So you can still open it across, see, and then close it. But I'm going to have to take a small sliver, I think off that end right there so that my pages are even. So where is my pencil? Okay. Hope you guys can figure out now what it is I'm trying to do. I hope this works out. So I don't know. Because I don't want to cut this. This is a beautiful page, you know. And I like that you would be able to open it that way or open it out. And we'll put some pockets and stuff in there. I think I'm going to put some washi down there, too. And then a little cutting board. Okay. Slicer popped out. I do like this smaller. I wish the other bigger ones had this little wire in here. 
for a guide either that or that they would make one of these with the wire that was bigger and would hold a full size sheet of paper lengthwise too but it doesn't i think it only goes to what like one two three four five six seven eight nine i don't think you can get a full like nine and a half inches so you can't even get a full sheet of paper in there 11 inches there we go so it just takes the very smidgen right, off of there okay and then what i want to do is put some washi and i got this washi it's a um hoping it'll blend okay with that uh, let me see i've got another one might work better i'm just trying to get some coat non-color that will um, i think i like the other one better um Or this one's got like green roses in it. I don't know if I like that one. I think I'll stick with the first one I originally chose. <laughs> These are those little things I was telling you about. You can only hold like a few washies in it at a time. And they're great if you only have a few. But when you start to collect <laughs> a washi. It becomes a pain <laughs> and expensive for storage. So I don't know. I think what I'm going to do with, I had basket, I had made baskets up and then used like bamboo um, uh, dowels, like wooden dowels and had used, um, I'll have to show you guys what I did. And that was great when I first started it because I only had a few. But then when I had to start stacking them in other places, it got, it's a little out of control now. So I'm going to have to find something else to put my ribbon spools in. Hopefully this will keep it from bending too much. That's the idea. I tried to flatten it with my bone folder, but, you know, once you get those creases in there, and these books are old, so. Oh, I can't wait to go see Allie in London after, because we're going to take four days to go down to London, or actually, yeah, like a four-day weekend. We're going to Take the train down from Scotland down to London on a Thursday, and then we've got uh, the Airbnb set up for um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then we leave Monday. So um, hopefully, oh, I don't want to cover it. I wonder if I have a thinner piece. Oh, I'll cover up the butterfly. Maybe find a prettier piece or something. I don't know. I like this one with daisies. I like daisies. I love that bee. That is such a cute, fuzzy little bottom to be. <laughs> I'm allergic to bees, by the way. I am part of the EpiPen Club. I like that one better. So there. And so, yeah. My whole life, I've been stung before, never had a problem, never had an issue till a few years ago at my mom's house. Um, I was pulling out her garden hose to water her tomato plants, and I guess a wasp did not like, um, so I should refrain, I should say, I'm allergic to wasps. I have not been stung by a bee other than a honeybee a few years back, which didn't really affect anything, but uh, she's 
I knew that first. And uh, I didn't really have any problems, <clears throat> but that wasp closed off my, I, I was like, started getting itchy palms and hives, and the next thing you know, my I couldn't swallow, I couldn't breathe, <laughs> yeah. So, um, now a member of the EpiPen Club, <laughs> and then last year, uh, when we were um, clearing out the last little bit in my mom's house to get ready to, to auction it, we um, <clears throat> had the back door open because it was a pretty nice day, and I a bee chased a wasp chased me in through the door and stung me again. And that was the first time I ever had to use my EpiPen on my own. And I was like, oh, maybe I don't need to. I said, oh, Zach, dri just drive me to the ER and we'll head that way and see if anything happens just in case. We didn't even get five minutes out the door. And I was, you know, I was like, is Zach to her, shoot it up, Mom. I'm like, I'm trying. <laughs> I am trying. <laughs> of course, once you stick that stuff, boy, it is that epiphedrine gets your heart racing. Sure does. Okay, so I think that will help keep that flat. I think. Uh, let's see, where are we at for time? Ow! That was a knee. Come on. Uh, 51 minutes? Yeah, I don't want it to too, too much. I think. Um, I think what on my next video, what we're going to do, I think what I'd like to do, because see what I kind of want, I don't want to, I want it to be able to open. So you've got another kind of signature, center signature, but it to be like a little folio to where we can put some pockets and, you know, some other fun stuff in here. And then obviously it can open up, we'll put something back here and then obviously this will be a nice little tuck here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to sew this pocket here and here just to make, instead of gluing it, I'm going to sew it on. So I'm going to do that off camera and then um, leave the rest for the next video. I just want to get everything prepped for it. And until next time, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know it was probably pretty boring, just kind of, but I, I do want to kind of go through the process because I do know that there are a few people that are, um, they're not necessarily, I know you guys aren't all new, new to journaling, but, you know, um, are kind of expanding on different ideas and different methods and stuff like that. So um, I'm just giving you kind of a, showing you guys kind of my method because everyone is different. You know, a lot of us do the, some of the same stuff, but it's different too so and you just got to find what works for you and what you feel it is the easiest or best method to do so anyway i know it's probably morning hopefully my stories made you laugh <laughs> anyway guys until next time plenty of hugs loves and blessings bye guys i love you